हेलो फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी डिस्कस रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ रिलेशन ओके एज यू नो दैट रिलेशन आर इज अ सबसेट ऑफ ए प्रोडक्ट बी देन वी कैन रिप्रेजेंट दिस रिलेशन इन टू टू फॉर्म वन इज ग्राफिकल फॉर्म एंड वन इज टेबुलर फॉर्म ओके सो रिलेशन बिटवीन टू फाइनेट सेट कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड इन टेबुलर फॉर्म एंड इन ग्राफिकल फॉर्म फॉर एग्जाम्पल If we have a set A equals to A B C D and B equals to alpha, beta, and gamma, and we have a relation R which we described as A alpha, beta, B gamma, C alpha, C gamma, and D beta, then we can represent this relation R into two form. One is one in tabular form and one in graphical form. So the tabular form is like this. At first, at the row one, represent the some elim all the elements of the set a that is a b c d and this represent all the elements in set b that is alpha beta and gamma so alpha beta and gamma now this check can be made according to this r a first pair is a comma alpha so a comma alpha this space or this value is represented as a comma alpha so we mark it as right then we have a next pair is b comma gamma so this space is represented as b comma gamma then c comma alpha this is a c comma alpha then c gamma this is c gamma then d beta this is d beta so if we represented the relation r in this form that form is called tabular and if we have to represent this relation same this relation in the graphical form then at one side we represent all the elements of a and and on on the other side we all represent all the elements of b suppose a set this is set capital set a and this is set b so a b c d are four elements in a and alpha beta gamma are four are three elements in b now uh, we have a pair a comma alpha so we represent by connecting a comma alpha and mark it as like this then b gamma so b gamma c alpha c alpha then c gamma c gamma and d beta this is d beta so this is how we represent the relation in graphical form as well as in tabular form now there is one formation of relation r and that is matrix form okay so if we have to represent the relation in the form of a matrix then there is this rule that if a pair a of ai and bj means a pair a comma b is relate is belongs to r then that pair value is 1 and if this pair a comma b is not belongs to r then the value is 0 how suppose we have an have a set a a b c d and b having a set b 1 2 3 this is relation r a1 a2 b1 c2 and d1 now if we have to represent this in the form of a matrix then <clears throat> mr equals to this side represent all the elements of a this is a this side represent all the elements of a and this side represent all the elements of b now if the pair a comma 1 belongs to r then we mark it as 1 so see a comma 1 so this value represent a comma 1 so it belongs to r then the value is 1 then a comma 2 so this value represent a comma 2 then the value is 1 then b comma 1 but in this case a comma 3 does not belongs to r so the value is 0 so this is how we form the matrix for the relation r so there are three forms tabular graphical and matrix okay now there is one more topic is that is digraph so how we represent a relation in the form of a graph or we can say digraph as digraph means a directed graph a graph having its direct, have a direction so if we have to represent the pictorial representation of r in the form of a graph or a digraph uh, directed graph then we called it as digraph suppose we have a relation first we have a, a set a 1 2 3 4 and our relation is a to a means r is having a relation from a to a means there are two set a comma a and a 
and these two sets are equal to each other now we have a uh, relation 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 these are some pair which represents the r and now we have to represent or uh, give a pictorial representation for this r then we can represent it as first uh, we represent all the elements of a in the form of a nodes 1 2 3 and 4 okay now the first pair is 1 comma 1 means this is a self loop then 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 then 2 comma 1 represented as like this 2 comma 2 represent the self loop 2 comma 3 we represent it like this then 2 comma 4 this is 2 comma 4 then 3 comma 4 and then 4 comma 1 so if we represent the uh, relation r in the form of a directed graph or a digraph so this is another form of relation so there are four representation of uh, relation first is tabular second is graphical third is matrix and fourth one is digraph so this is all about the representation of a relation so i hope you understood this and if you have any query then you can ask in our comment section so keep watching our video thank you so much